And I think that even his demeanor talks about that. So I'm very interested in seeing how, like, Jen from Tri-State, because the last time he he came down to Mexico, he dominated. Like, there was not a player who could beat him and at the tournaments that he went to. And so we are getting the Joker versus Palutena. Yeah, uh, definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But yeah, I, I'm not sure why they're not going for the Aegis here. I mean, it might just Ooh. be to the fact that um, with how susceptible that Pyra and Mithra can be off stage, and Jen can probably, you know, really take advantage of that. So I'm not surprised to see the Joker here, who kind of has a lot more answers while they're off stage, but also could just challenge a lot of the multi hitboxes that Palutena brings to the game here. Uh, so we'll see how they're able to interact with each other. Right now, Jen's doing a fantastic job. Uh, gonna get that back here to put on a little bit of extra damage, but Arsene is a little bit scary sometimes, but almost gone already. That's insane yeah and cloudy normally like tends to think a lot about the characters that he is going to use and he has quite a few under his sleeve like there's the joker there's the Sephiroth that we saw yesterday that almost took the set off of goblin on that game five and uh, there is the age as well and i've seen him even play roy versus palutena but here jen making sure that first stock is no more and sending cloudy into disadvantage mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it, they're definitely doing a fantastic job here. But yeah, Cloudy's looking a little bit lost. And it's not even to try and disrespect them. It's just that Jen's a fantastic player. One of the better fundamental players from the Tri-State area, like you've mentioned, right? And yeah. honestly, like, if <laughs> you need to find a way to play patient around him because he knows how to play, like, against some of the oh. most annoying characters <laughs> in the world. But uh, as we see that back here, that was just well placed by Cloudy. Going to be able to find a way to clean up that stock, even things up here at least a little bit. Yeah, let's see if he's able to adapt that. Arsene is looking like a non-factor so far, Jen, as you've said, since he has had to play versus some of these characters that really do require a lot of patience, right? And I was talking about that with Ajax also yesterday. Like, this man knows what it feels like to be waiting on those platforms. He knows what it is to be, like, just fighting for your life in every single percent. So I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to know how to deal with the RSN as well. And well, here, Joker so far very, very far away from that next RSN and the percent keeps racking up. Jen looking very clean. Uh, Jen's looking very solid right now, but at a second back here, definitely creating some problems for Cloudy, just trying to get off the ledge, trying to get back on the stage some way, somehow. That's one back here, not gonna be able to get a second one though as we see the teleport to the ledge. And Jen just gonna continue to keep this stock alive a little bit longer. Definitely needs to get some percentage built up. Here we go, the Nair plane coming out to play here. Only two hits though, but the third and fourth are gonna be in the form of that Nair and then back here. Oh my God, Cloudy keeps air dodging there. And like before, Jen definitely showed his hand that he is willing to go for those downers, even though he did get punished there. But still, like, Cloudy cannot get comfortable off stage. And, oh, very close. Jen getting the two-frame with that down tilt. Of course, so active that move is. Let's see if he can close it out. Now, see, we saw the two-frame there, right? Oh, and the up smash going to be able oh. to clean it up, taking game one, right? So, as you mentioned, we saw the two-frame on the joker right that that that's huge if you could two frame joker that's like that's such a big boost to your game plan now imagine if we saw that on the ages that already have a much more exploitable recovery how would jen be able to take advantage of that so maybe that's why we're seeing the joker right now and i'm not sure if they're continuing to feel confident in the joker but we'll see as we get back to town and city here for game two jen's looking fantastic and as we were talking about the patients a little bit earlier the reason why one of the reasons why and here we are seeing the roy that you discussed yeah. earlier uh, but the one of the reasons why that <laughs> Jen's so patient is back in their region, right? They have to go against two of the most notorious camping uh, players in <laughs> in their region between <laughs> Sinji and John Numbers, right? That's a Pac-Man yeah. and a Wii Fit trainer. So, I mean, if you're going to try and play the patient game against them, like, they've already got you beat in spades. <laughs> Yeah, and like Cloudy normally is not that type of super defensive player. We did see him like pretty much blanking and making Goblin wait yesterday, but here going the other route completely with the Roy. And I think that his job here is to overwhelm Palutena. And I've seen the discussion like a lot of Palutena players really think that this is a rough matchup. However, Jen showing us otherwise, at least whenever you push this Fire Emblem character off stage. That was uh, a little bit tough. 
Um, but yeah, like, Roy, Roy can definitely find a way in and put a lot of pressure on the Palutena, right? But Palutena does so well in that pressure. If you land on her shield, that's a Nair coming out at you. And just a situation like that, too. Uh, Chen's doing a fantastic job of catching Cloudy in these really awful scenarios. But a big counter right there, catching the forward smash to even things up. Holy! Yeah, it working out. I'm... Made me surprised really after that brave counter from Cloud and also Jen, like not holding that force mesh enough to be able to like circumvent that option from the Roy player here. Look at that, Cloudy managing to sneak back with that roll. And let's see if Jen cleans up this ledge traps, but the up B also is gonna allow him to come back. And those strong options are already showing Cloudy. Like, if he keeps swinging with that sword like that, uh -oh. Jen is definitely gonna take advantage of that. Oh, very close to dying there. Yeah, actually, oh my god. Jen putting themselves in a really awful position. Can they get back to stage safely? They do. And no one's gonna hit the balloon. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll get past that. Uh, but yeah, Jen just continues to try and find ways to put uh, Cloudy off stage again and again. The town tilt's not actually going to get through, but the get-up attack will allow Cloudy a little bit of room to get up a bit safely here. And these two just kind of throwing out these hitboxes, trying to go for something. Oh my goodness. Uh, he was getting funky with it off the stage, the back throw. Not even gonna give him the chance to come back. Of course, we're touching on how it's a narrow stage, but Cloudy says there's also the power of the sword to go upwards and not respecting that backer enough here. Cloudy now given the space to resetting the neutral and going in rather aggressively with those nares. If he doesn't watch his spacing, then Jen is for sure gonna punish him as he is trying to do now. Yet again, Cloudy with those slight resets in neutral that have been working wonders for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, ooh, got a little bit of a start there. The down air into the forward tilt. Oh, that could have been such a huge moment for Jen to capitalize on, but they continue to find a way to keep this string going here, putting down some strong moves, but now Cloudy back on the offensive, 71%, and that's gonna be it. There, oh my God, he somehow finds a way to live. Oh. Lands on the platform too for the additional recovery resources. Oh my God, the forward throw, down throw. Okay, time to find a way to put it to bed. And holy, Jen still finds a way to take the W in game two. Extremely impressive there from Jen. The composure that he like that was that was just perfect. Like Cloudy had that edge guard, and I think that he was already tasting victory and an even set. But look at that down tilt into the backer, perfect execution, and Jen is gonna get that game number two. Yet another switch from Cloudy. It seems like he is like doubting himself on whether. Or not, he's gonna go for the Sephiroth or the Pyra and Mithra. He's definitely looking for a bit of that 599 help for sure. The <laughs> Sephiroth's gonna come out. I'm really, it's really interesting to see that they put all this time into Aegis and they feel that discouraged going against Jen that they won't even give him a shot right now, being down 2 0. But the Sephiroth coming out, I won't complain. This is 100% the hypest character to be coming out in the Smash Bros. DLC, so I'm all for it. Yeah, and uh, here is the Sephiroth. Like, not surprising considering just how well did uh, Cloudy do yesterday. However, as we were touching upon, like, Jen is definitely... If Cloudy goes the camping route, I think that Jen is the perfect player to be able to deal with that. So let's see how this develops for the Mexican player. Did you see the Shadow Flare try to come out and Jen dash attack through it, just nullifying mm -hmm. it completely? Absolutely ridiculous stuff. I mean, I know I was making the joke about, you know, Sephiroth being 599, but Palutena has been playing like a DLC character from day one. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it didn't matter that she got a nerf that this character is still very clean. Cloudy, like, uh, I'm surprised. Is he going to manage to adapt? Because, like, all the characters that he's been playing, like, feel like they are very different archetypes. And even though they are sort of sorties of, of, uh, of a sort, like, here. Cloudy going for it, but, oh, okay. look at that, Jen. And he did make Ooh. it back. I thought, he, like, Jen was going to find himself, like, on the bottom of the stage. But instead, Cloudy was the only one that lost that stuff. Yeah, I didn't think Jen was going to be making it back either, so I'm just as surprised as you are. But, oh man, here is the unfortunate situation that Sephiroth's got to deal with, right? You are a big body character, one of the tallest 
uh, hurt boxes in the game, and you are super light. So 49%, that's a pretty hot start here for Jen on the second stock, especially with a little bit of rage. Honestly, a hit more or two, probably a couple nares. You could definitely be setting yourself up to clean out the second stock here, but the dash attack will find a way to put it to bed. Good stuff to Cloudy. Yeah, Cloudy now going for that up being neutral, but Jen very comfortable in waiting it out and the counter, but not enough like that hitbox on the Octo Slash is super big, so it's hard to deal with even for characters that seem like they have the chance to do so. And of course, the one winged angel is here. And look at that, the extensions that are available now due to that extra jump. Is Cloudy gonna get aggressive? No, he instead opts to get on stage, but Jen ever so brave getting that backer after getting off that ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit of a tough spot there. Um... But yeah, the one wing, as soon as it came out, it went right away. And not only just that additional jump, but I believe Sephiroth gets a bit of uh, extra speed as well. But, I mean, hey, right now, Cloudy's on their potential final stock of the tournament here. They got to be making some noise. They got to make a big play. That's a tough spot to be in. Jen went for it all, trying to put a stamp on the set. Just trying to take that second stock, trying to punish Cloudy for even going off stage at all. And you cannot give Cloudy this type of opportunity. This is exactly what he is gonna be looking for here the ledge trap once more cloudy is, seems to have come out unscathed of that and the combo yet again you're looking for the landing now this this is a complicated position suddenly for a gen and cloudy just resetting oh. once more but falling prey to that look at that that was actually really good pressure there right they threw up the explosive flame knowing that Ooh. cloudy was going to be rolling away because if they did oh wait Okay, they're a little bit sick, but because if they didn't actually go away, like, or uh, they didn't roll out, or if they stayed in place, I think they still would have got hit by the explosive flame, but if they rolled in, right, they, they were going to be ca caught up in a grab, and then Jen would have just kept up this pressure that they've been putting down the entire time, but, man, as we're talking here, Cloudy's starting to figure out something, almost dying to the explosive flame, but we've got Wing out, Jen has to be careful, Jen has to take notice of this! And this is a game of cat and mouse at this point. Is Jane gonna find the closing blow or is Cloudy gonna take advantage of this wing once again? Nice patience there because that explosive flame has been a move that Jen has definitely taken a lot of advantage out of. And he is going to find forward tilt. Cloudy gets a game and still alive in this loser's bracket. Let's not forget. Let's not forget that whoever loses here is out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it, it's definitely a difficult spot to be in, but Cloudy rose to the occasion here. Seems like the Sephiroth pick seemed to work out here a little bit, but let's not forget, right, that Jen did throw basically a whole stock away yeah. <laughs> trying to put the game to bed. So while Cloudy does have a little bit of momentum going into this game four, they cannot rest easy. They have to keep up this gameplay here and actually have to go a little bit further too because Jen was winning. Oh, yeah, like, as you were saying, no, had Jen not thrown that stock away, then Cloudy was in a very rough spot, but managing to clutch it out in the end, thanks to, well, Jen's help, and the nerve plane again, those combos, I thought this, the extension was going to be even bigger due to the platform, but uh, Jen getting just happy with that 58% that he's really on so far, and look at that, Cloudy trying to push, trying to fight his way back off of that ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Gonna run right up, though, and get the grab. Won't be able to extend anything else out of it, but still, just putting that pressure down is huge. But it seems like Cloudy has really got this engine running a bit, but the oh. nerds will get up right into the explosive flame. An unfortunate situation to be in. And, oh, that could have been huge, but somehow, thought Ooh. some way, just having the invincibility to get through that back here, that, that should have been a stock. And they're gonna get the stock instead. Beautifully played from Cloudy so far. Yeah, going down with that fair and not uh, the most often seen option right there. However, Cloudy making it work. The dash attack, not enough just yet, even in spite of Sephiroth's low, low weight. And the explosive flame, look, barely managing to also scrape by through that. And the upper, uh, oh, okay, he's fine. He's fine. He has that extra jump and that wing. Is uh, Cloudy gonna stay safely here onto the ledge? Because he doesn't actually have to fight away. Like, this is one of the strengths that Sephiroth does have with uh, that wing. But I think that option is off the table at the current time. 
Yeah, dude, I mean, the way that Cloudy has definitely leveled up their gameplay into this game four has been huge. It looks like they're starting to figure out a rhythm to make things work, charging that up smash, and Jen Yo. almost jumping down, but thankfully having that sec, uh, that additional jump to get out of harm's way, you know, just land onto the stage safely. Don't try and challenge that if you don't need to. But yeah, Cloudy's definitely got this rhythm going out. It's definitely working here so far, putting a lot of pressure on Jen from a distance, especially that forward air, putting a lot of work for him. Yeah, and reversing the situation here is Cloudy, who managed to escape yet again from that ledge. Oh, that upper was a looming threat, but no oh. dies. And also, Austin Tilla, he, I think he was looking for the dash attack because, like, Jen has been hitting those buttons on the landing sometimes. But the back here, nearly gonna be enough here. Cloudy has to play patient, he has to go for the ledge trap. Once again, Jen just running very Ooh. bravely out of that ledge. It seems that is something that both of these guys have in common. And look at that. They are going very back and forth. And Jen could still take this and stock first. And we did get Jen with the balloon. So let's go, everybody. Pop off for that. <laughs> but the next attack is going to put Cloudy right back off stage. And yeah, this second stock situation is pretty crucial for both players right now. No! Oh, Somehow no! Cloudy just gets the wrong angle. It just gets pineappled in the process. Yeah, that was the... That was a way. That was that was his way to pay back. Like I know USD last dog. Like now it's my chance. And just that angle was not there. And Cloudy swinging with that four tilt, just trying to bait out Jen to move in. And finally does so, but with the dash attack. So at the very least, last stock of this game number four. Are we gonna see a fifth one or not? Uh, we might very well, because again, it seems like Cloudy start to got that engine run. It seems like things are working out here. Oh, oh no! Oh is that gonna God. be it? Ah, what's happening? Okay, okay, a little bit of a scary spot. I mean, we <laughs> saw the down air, but Sephiroth barely made it back. If Sephiroth actually had turned the Octo Slash the other way and then went straight up, he actually could have put Jen off stage and continued a, a very strong edge guarding game plan. But all of a sudden, man, Jen's putting down this damage. One up air. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to see a grab, but just decided to opt to stay in shield and jump away. I don't blame him. This is getting really nerve wracking, especially with this wing is out. Can Jen find a way to close it out here? Jen about to take Cloudy out of this tournament, trying to make use the Mexican player out uh, the most out of this wing that he has right now and pushing Jen look at that just the four till coming out again holding to shield for dear life but eventually Jen is gonna get a poke Cloudy has to be super careful he cannot miss another one of those and he is gonna lose his life to that four tilt these Palutena players have that option on deck and Cloudy is out of a thumb invitational 2021 Jen who like, he did tweet out that he was trolling yesterday, but today is all about that dub. So moving forward, very, very nice to see. Yeah, I know, very good stuff. And uh, honestly, at the end, I'm not too surprised. Cloudy did have a, a, a little bit of a string, I believe, at the beginning of that game, where they kind of played around on the ledge a little bit too long, and Jen wasn't able to find a way to really punish it. it just it, it, They might have just let them do that to try and let them feel comfortable, because at the very end, when we saw Cloudy try to go for the drop off the ledge and then jump into a forward air, they got met with the forward tilt, like you called out, and that's what cleared it up for him. But yeah, Jen's doing a fantastic job 